Hi guys, this is Ryan Holine. Today's video is the modified curl up. This is a great exercise, awesome replacement for potentially unsafe ab exercises like traditional crunches. It's also very similar to a traditional crunch. It's just modified for safety and effectiveness. So this was developed by legendary spine biomechanics professor Stuart McGill. He uses it with failed back pain patients, celebrity athletes, and Olympians, and it's been very hard for me to capture the little details of this exercise on video. This is my third attempt, and I'm hoping that this time around I can honor Stuart McGill with this, with this video. So first thing I want to explain is neutral spine. So how your spine is when you're standing is very similar to a neutral spine position. You have a nice inward curve in the low back, nice outward curve in the mid back, and a nice inward curve in the neck. That's your neutral spine. With this exercise, you're going to maintain a neutral lumbar spine position, maintain this position, and you're gonna maintain a neutral cervical or neutral neck, head and neck position. So let me show you the exercise and then we'll break it down, give you some tips and tricks. Looks like this. Hands like this underneath the low back, knee bent to, one knee bent to about 90 degrees. Brace, brace your core and then into this, this curl position. You're gonna hold this for about 10 seconds. Very subtle, this curl up motion. You're gonna lift your head, your neck, and your shoulders about two inches off the floor, even less. You're also gonna lightly float the elbows, maybe one centimeter, just enough to slide a piece of paper underneath them. And then after your 10 second hold, back down. So easiest way to start explaining this is to compare it to a traditional crunch and explain why it's, why it's safer than a traditional crunch. So crunch looks like this. Biggest problem, flattening the low back, rounding your low back and flattening it against the floor. Definitely don't want that. There's three techniques, there's three, three techniques used here to maintain this neutral lumbar spine position, very important. One is the hands like this, underneath the low back and the hollow of the low back between your floor and your back. They're gonna act as platform support sensors. If you feel your low back pressing against your hands, you know you're losing your neutral lumbar spine position. And you're gonna to wanna to correct that. Also, having one knee bent to 90 degrees and the other knee straight is gonna add traction to the pelvis, which, in the, in, and that's the reason for doing that, is to help maintain that position as well. And the ab brace that we spoke about, that's also going to help lock that neutral lumbar spine position into place. So lumbar spine, low back, not moving at all. Uh, up to the, the mid back and the neck, break that down. The head, the neck, and the shoulders aren't, aren't really curling. This is called a curl up, and they're not really curling. And you're not flexing your head and your neck like this. The neck isn't moving at all. You're gonna accomplish this flexion motion by hinging here at the mid thoracic spine. If it's more helpful to picture from the front, you could, men, it's the mid sternum, and ladies, it's just above the brow line. But the basic concept isn't even curling up. You really just wanna think about kind of elevating or lifting your head, your neck, and your shoulders up towards the ceiling. So one cue might be to picture your head, your neck, and your shoulders as resting on a bathroom scale, and you want to just pick them up enough to make the bathroom scale weightless. Also with some people who are having trouble understanding this concept, I'll cradle their head and their neck like this, and when they go to do their curl up motion, I'll keep my hands here just to kind of just lift the head, the neck, and the shoulder blades off the, off the floor, just, just one inch or so. Again, holding for 10 seconds. Back down, switch legs in between sets. If you're having sciatica, it's recommended to just keep that leg bent the whole time. So if I was having sciatica in my left leg, just keep the left leg bent the whole time. Recommended sets and reps scheme is in the caption below. If you wanna add a little bit more effectiveness to this exercise, you can add a more forceful ab brace and practice deep belly breathing. The ab brace is gonna be focused on activating your obliques. We have a video on that as well. If, you, if you're not familiar with proper ab bracing, check it out. But 
a more forceful ab brace is going to add more resistance. And so when you, when you go ahead and perform your ab brace and then you curl up against the resistance of your own brace, it's going to make the exercise a little more challenging. And then from here, you can add deep belly breathing. So it'll look like this. One last common mistake we'll talk about is chin tuckers or chin pokers. So you might be getting some discomfort in your neck with this exercise. And commonly, commonly people might be chin, chin pokers or chin tuckers. You're going to want to correct that. Keep a neutral. So not here and not here. Just neutral head and neck position. So I hope this is helpful. Any questions, submit in the comment section below. Give it a try. Thank you.